What's up humans? How's it hanging? I'm the Nerdy Beard and welcome back to World of Warplanes and today I'm going to be flying the American Tier 5 fighter, the P-40 Warhawk. And this aircraft is a very solid contender uh, at Tier 5 and, and into Tier 6 as well. It is doesn't feel like the most maneuverable aircraft. It does feel a little heavier than most others at T5 when turning, but is a very powerful engine and has some great firepower, so it certainly makes up for it. So just a quick look at the available upgrades here, and there's not a lot going on. You've got a choice of three engines and really no choice but to go straight for the top engine. You've got six 12.7 millimeter machine guns. It is awesome. They put out some damage at a fantastic rate, and a caliber of that size, it's you know not far off the 20 mil cannons, realistically, and as machine guns, they don't overheat very quickly, so you can really do some damage very quickly. And the upgraded airframe. So in terms of the progression through these upgrades, I went for the airframe first, which I always do as a fighter. The more hit points and the better maneuverability you have, the more time you're going to be able to fly around. And that's pretty much paramount because you only have about 200 hit points at tier 5. Uh, then I went the engines for obvious reasons, the, your ability to boost out of trouble or to pull through a turn and get behind the target before it turns back into you is very important and then went for the gun. So having four 12.7 millimeters, you're not really struggling at all. Uh, then to get the extra two, yeah, it's a bonus, um, but the I feel that the airframe and the engine are far more important. And just with as the uh, the same sorry as the Spitfire video, I have the universal ammunition loaded, a manual fire extinguisher, the pneumatic restarter, and the control surface trim. So they're all manual. I don't use the automatic ones, uh, as sometimes say if your tail goes, you're probably going to want to fix it. But if you're near death and the wing goes, don't worry about it. Just probably just keep fighting until you die. You won't be that far away anyway, and then get back into the respawn. Alrighty, that's pretty much it for that. There's not a whole lot going on, and it's not overly difficult in terms of getting these ready to fly. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to uh, pause it here and rejoin you with some gameplay. Back in a sec. Alrighty, and we are in battle, and we are in a Tier 5 and Tier 4 game. So no excuses here, we should be able to do pretty well. And we are on the Scorching Sands map. So we have the mining something or other in the middle there, well, I forget what it's called, and we have the two airfields. So I'm just going to continue to fly forwards here, and if there's any aircraft about, get rid of them, and then shoot on up to either the northern or the southern airfield and take those. Ooh, looks like we found all the bad guys. Okay, so let's get stuck in. I'm going to go for the high one, because I really don't want someone dropping in behind me in this aircraft, because it's just a little bit slower in the turn. You can see there that lag just as we bring the nose over. And I probably could have boosted there, but I thought I might just save it, just in case I need it. And luckily for me, accuracy isn't really a thing, <laughs> otherwise I'd be in trouble. But let's see if we can get these guns shown off. Okay, there we go, now we're hitting them. And you can see their hit points just sort of dissolve. Very awesome high caliber machine guns. And it looks like we might have set a fire there on that guy as well, so the universal ammo paying for itself already. And that might be his tail gun coming into effect. And there we go, there's another one. Alright, so the good difference there, so with the 12.7 mils guys, it's um, let's get this turn, or we might be, no, P40, it's another P40, and my, yeah, it's probably why I can't turn. Okay, what was I saying? So yeah, the uh, the 12.7s guys, they are excellent machine guns, heavier calibre, so the rounds are slightly slower. You know what guys, I would love some help from my team, that would just amaze me right now. Maybe if we just get this guy out, and uh, we'll come back, if <laughs> he shoots me down, yeah, there we go. Okay, so in a roundabout way, I was saying, with the big machine guns, guys, the faster moving targets are going to be just a little bit more difficult to hit. Um, so, just make sure you're getting that lead. Just give it a little bit more room, and then just slowly reduce it as you're coming into your target. Because uh, the, the rounds will just be that little bit slower, I feel, uh, when I'm playing these bigger caliber machine guns. Um, but in terms of the big heavy stuff, I mean, you saw how quickly we took out that big fighter there. Um, the the larger rounds just absolutely shred those targets. So um, maybe not necessarily the best fighter on fighter aircraft is P-40, but certainly it is more than capable of taking out those bigger targets with the more hit points because you have six really heavy uh, rounds going towards the target and they really do the job. 
Alrighty, so what have we got coming up here? Let's have a look. So we got the guys down the bottom there, some fighters off to the left, and some fighters above. So I really want to go for those guys down the bottom, but I'm feeling that, yeah, so these guys are coming in, they'll will have dropped down behind me. So if we get these guys out of here first, and then we can take care of the guys below us. Alright, bit of damage there. Uh, boost through the turn, let's get this done. And he is out. Alright, now here's one of the big guys. Oh, and I have someone on my tail. Not good. Oh, don't hit him. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. Yep, I reacted to that way too slowly, but that's something you really need to take into account. I don't think I've seen that in one of my videos yet. But uh, you can uh, be taken out very quickly when you hit something that's much bigger than you. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. So we are quite a ways behind. Not good. Let's see what we can do. So we need to... Well, the, the team is doing alright. We've got uh, two out of the three points, so that's not too bad, but we really need to get stuck into this game. So just going to... Uh, play it like I'm streaming it for the moment I think I'm just gonna make some comments but not try to analyze the aircraft too much until I've caught up and we can really showcase this aircraft for you guys so I really want to get that fighter he will be coming in next get the light skin guy out because if he gets behind me I'm in big trouble and get this turned out all right thank you friendly for stealing my kill all right and let's get stuck into this heavy stuff two now I should definitely be able to get away from you fairly quickly there's that pesky P40 again, but no, we'll uh, get stuck into here, and then we'll come around behind his tail, and hopefully do to him what he did to us, if that's the same guy, which it looks like it is. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> okay, let's go. Alright, he's out. What have we got next? Ah, this guy who was shooting at me just before. Hmm. Alright, assistance, alrighty, not too bad. And it's probably a good idea, probably just to stick around here, actually. we uh, Yeah, we're getting some points now. Who is that at the top? BF109. Nice. Alright, so I'm probably going to stick in the middle here, because that's the closest target to their respawn. So they're going to want to come here first to try and get this point back off us and get back in the game. But we don't want that to happen. We want to win. So there we go. Alright, great one, finally. Alright, now we're doing some work. Okay. And he, yeah, you see there, guys. Like The turn, is, it just seems heavy and a little slow for a fighter but oh, the guns more than make up for it but you see, you see I'm boosting through the turn there and it still just doesn't want to get around and then finally it actually makes some moves and it's good to go and let's get that one all right excellent another p40 taken care of oh and you're back all right I think I just shot this guy down did we oh he wants another go no nope, looks like our boys are all over it okay let's get a turn back in and cover that valley. So it looks like that's primarily where they're coming from. So we want to make sure we're ready to go. And let's do it. Alright, some good damage there. And we may have set a fire. No, maybe not. Or he could have an automatic extinguisher. Not sure. Everyone's into it. But doesn't matter. Game is over. Fantastic. That's a win. Alrighty, guys. So I'm going to pause it here and meet you back in the hangar. Back in a sec. Alrighty, and we are back in the hangar, guys. So, not a bad game there. I uh, did have to uh, put my head down a little bit and concentrate because I was getting a bit carried away with commentating. Um, but we eventually got there. And you can see just what I was meaning for that aircraft. So, the Spitfire, uh, if you have watched my previous videos or any of the Tier 4 videos that I've got up there, um, the, the planes do react quite well as soon as you start the turn, they're into it. But the P-40 just seems to take a little bit of time to get off the straight line. And then once it comes around, it does so in a bit of a looping manner. So make sure you take that into account that if you're chasing something, you probably want to get the turn started as early as possible and get the boost going as well. You, you might throw it a little bit wide of where you intended to go, but you, you do need that extra speed to pull it through the turn. It just feels like it needs a little bit of help. But as you can see there, the guns are great, and everything else about this aircraft is pretty good too. Um, yeah, I did get shot down a few times, but that was sort of me just being a bit silly and not paying attention to my location on the map there. So, 30,330 credits, excellent. 4,038 for the first one of the day, and 201 free experience. Thank you very much. Uh, only six kills, but six assists, so... 
in and amongst it. Yeah, I, I would prefer that number to be, say, I don't know, 10 and 3, 10 and 4. Uh, I would be more happy with that. But um, yeah, probably, yeah, I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention to what was going on uh, up until the, as I, as the game was starting to end there and uh, we really got some work done. Um, but you can see as a fighter, this thing especially, it does it does have a little bit more survivability uh, to, to go with the fact that it doesn't quite turn as well. Um, so we did hang around there for a while at the end, and uh, once we were paying attention to what the other team was doing, we got some got some good hits in. And we go into the scoreboard here, and Mr. F. Bates in his 109E, the Tier 5 German. Fantastic game. That's what we love to see. Really high points. He was all over everybody in that game. Uh, and that's definitely something we want to be achieving fairly soon. But still happy that I came second with 9,540 points. And you can see on the other team, they weren't really anywhere near the sort of points that we were scoring, which then enabled us to win the game fairly quickly. Alrighty, guys. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you've seen, please give the video a like. I definitely appreciate it. And if you want to continue watching World of Warplanes videos as they come out, please subscribe. They will be posted quite regularly. And I'll be continuing to move up the tiers of the uh, UK and the American primarily, but also be following through with the uh, USSR and the German planes as well. And they'll all primarily be fighters from this point, unless uh, I get plenty of requests to do a few different roles, uh, sorry, two different, different aircraft, and I can uh, get to practicing those and start making some videos for you. Alrighty guys, that's me. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy.